So welcome back everyone. Um, as you can see, I had the young birds out, but her, that's the last one uh, that still has to come inside. And that one, but that's a that's a young bird from the young birds, you know. That's a chick we played on nest with. A nest chick. Um, but yeah, it's, the video is not gonna be about and the young birds right now. It will be about uh, these guys in a top loft. Um, yeah, these guys. Uh, I don't know when the last time uh, you saw these guys was, but uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't have their hands yet. Um, as many of you might not know, but um, yeah, we did raise these guys in the beginning of the season. Only the cockbirds, um, that's on widowhood, uh, meaning when you raise them before the race, you show them the hen. So they come home to see the hen and yeah, that's like the way uh, you get them ready for the race uh, to want to come home fast. So yeah, uh, that type of race is raised in the beginning of the season. Uh, which we did have two great birds with um, 611, I don't know 611 picked a new box, he used to be in that one down there but uh, we had some, that one died and then that one picked another box as well but yeah we had I think one open box and now we have three so I believe another one um, got lost somewhere but yeah, 611 is now down there, that's him peeking behind the corner. And then the other blue bar that flew really well. Yeah, he's uh, not that one because that's an old guy. Uh, you can see by the, tell by the green ring. But the other one right there, that's basically, well, 611 was second on Ace Birds. Um, just because he flew really well at the beginning of the season, but then uh, later on the blue bar started to fly better. Um, he might have actually been able to pass 611 if he dropped better, but because he never drops uh, good. Um, but yeah, those were the two main guys on uh, Widowhood. Well, actually all of these birds flew well, except that one and this guy. And they all flew well. Um, so yeah. Now we'll be racing them on nest, as you can see. Nest balls are in there. We paired these guys up with the hens maybe two or three days ago, I don't know. Um, but yeah, these guys will be flown on nest. That's what usually what um, fanciers do around here. Uh, widowhood in the beginning of the season and then they play with young birds. And when the young birds get to an end, they start again with the old birds. But then on nest, of course. Some fly them on wooden hood, but they'll start to molt sooner. So the most of them fly uh, them on, on nest, which we will be doing as well. But my dad's kind of afraid to fly 611 and the blue bar right there, just because they are really good birds and he doesn't want to lose them. Um, because uh, at the end of the season, the weather is a little bit worse. Uh, as it gets closer to winter but I don't really mind it they should be able to come home, home on without much issue um, but yeah we will be racing the hens this time as well um, we didn't raise them on widowhood because it's too hard for us we both have a full-time job so it's hard to um, release them separately and stuff so but yeah, on nest it's way easier because they're always with the, uh, the cockbirds and you can release them uh, just with the cockbirds. So uh, it's way easier. And there should be some uh, pretty good hands. Um, not as good as the cockbirds, but uh, that one's pretty good. Um, and then another one, another blue bar somewhere is pretty good as well. Uh, that's a good breathing hand, but that's not necessarily Yeah, I don't know exactly, but there should be another uh, pretty good uh, flying blue bar hen, which you will see in the 
when the races uh, get here. Okay, and a little bit more about this guy. And uh, this guy is actually the father of 611, and he's also related to the blue bar. Um, basically, anything um, related to him is uh, are some of our best birds, uh, especially on 200k. Not as much on 100, um, 200, and a little bit longer maybe as well. Um, but yeah, he's a 2019 bird, and he's doesn't fly well he does fly uh, good on 200k as well but uh, his kids fly uh, better 611 flies a lot better um, so we'll be moving him to him to the breeding loft probably after uh, when the racing is done on nest we'll be moving him to the breeding loft it will be one of the better breeders that we have um, so he won't be raced anymore uh, after this and uh, this uh, nest bird uh, nest season so yeah that's that and we will probably be getting rid of him um, he's not that good and then this uh, melee one isn't that good either so we'll be getting rid of him as well um, yeah the rest is flying pretty decent uh, or flew pretty decent. Maybe these guys can fly better on nest. I don't know. Not necessarily, I think. Uh, but yeah. At least that's actually the father of most of the grizzles, uh, young bird grizzles that we have, which did fly surprisingly well, especially that one uh, cockbird one, who looks looks just like him. Uh, actually, flies better than him. He doesn't fly that well. Um, and then of course the other grizzle is from the big grizzle, but yeah. Let's take a look over here. Yeah, there's the other one. Those are the two oldest birds on this loft. This is blue bar right here, 2018. And then the melee is also uh, 2018. That's the only guy to actually fly a Federation first place price placing. This guy has flown 3rd place and 5th place and multiple good placings. But that's the only one that flew uh, a 1st place. Um, so yeah, what else can I say? Those are the two oldest, then the rest are yearlings. And yearlings have the white band on, uh, or the grey band, I don't know. And then there's one 2019, which is him, but he won't be raced anymore after this. So we have two old birds and the rest are basically yearlings and then one two-year-old but he'll be moved as i said might actually have to put some straw in here because uh, some have actually started to carry some feathers as you can see so i might just do that after this video oh yeah we did have yeah, another grid a uh, little grid area now we used to have this big um, that had that shape. You can kind of see it on the floor still, but uh, it has lower borders and this one has higher borders, so less uh, spills out. And then the Vita mineral section is also a little separate slot right there. So yeah, that's what's been going on with these guys. Uh, they, I believe I said they were molting really bad in the last video. Uh, about them, about the ace pigeon. Uh, yeah, it was the ace pigeon strain video. So, yeah, they're still molting, but uh, they should be growing back uh, soon. That's actually the guy I was talking about uh, back then. He looks a lot better now. He's already gotten some feathers back. Oh, yeah, we, that's also another bird uh, in the corner right there, which doesn't fly the best which we'll be also getting rid of to make some space for uh, the coming birds. So we'll have uh, three spaces of birds we'll be getting rid of. And then we have three open slots, meaning that we can have uh, six yearling, yearling cockbirds next year from these guys, uh, this year's young birds. So six is a bit, a bit of a small number. Um, we might 
Oh yeah, and this one is gonna go to the breeding loft, so we'll have seven, seven slots. That's a bit better, seven. I believe we had seven last season or eight, I don't know. But yeah, uh, I've actually been letting these guys out um, like two times a week, maybe three. So just so they can get a little bit of um, meters under their wing, uh, as we call it. Not necessarily to get in shape yet because they're, they don't actually fly uh, very long when they're molting. Because it's, it takes them a lot more effort. So yeah. That's what's been going on with these guys, so stay tuned. Um, once these guys will be getting on nest, which um, will be uh, maybe in about 10 days or yeah, 10 days, maybe maybe 14 days, uh, they will be starting to race these guys as well. They usually get timed so that they have young birds uh, when they start racing. Um, but obviously young birds uh, the cock birds fly better on young birds and hens actually do fly decent on eggs as well as tiny like the very tiny young bird up to like a, a week old or something but the cock birds fly better on two weeks so it'll get it'll get timed that um, the young birds will be starting to hatch or somewhere around that area so yeah Stay tuned for more updates on these guys. Um, I'll be ending the video here. So as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.